Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been on camera here. We had our summer party. Thank you for coming if you attended. We had 200, about 230 cars on the field, all the way from Maine to, uh, to Byron Center. I mean, it was Douglas Walker Park. It was the same old venue. We had a grand time. You know, everyone said, oh my gosh, you're going to have it again next year. Yes, we are going to have it again next year, the weekend of the 16th, 17th, and 18th of, of August. And uh, I think we're going to feature the sedans. I was, uh, I was put upon by members of the uh, sedan group, and so we'll feature the Y-types, the Z-types, the Farinas, the 11 and 1300s, all those models you've read about but have seen only once. Hey, we got all these things going on here in the shop today. It rained, it rained a whole lot this morning, poured, so we didn't move all of them out. We got a couple of them here that, that are dead. But what we're really coming around to see here is our TC engine here that Forrest has been working on for, oh my gosh, a long time. So we, we have our boat gasoline tank hooked up here and we've got our, our fittings uh, here on the downdraft. What kind of carburetors are these? Holly. Holly carburetors on a Nixon manifold. If you look in the old uh, road and tracks, here it says Nixon right, right along here on the, on the uh, manifold. Um, you look in the old road and tracks and you'll find these things. You know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, Holly carburetors had to be better than American carburetors. So someone, uh, obviously named Nixon, ma made up the manifolding and so forth. So we've got it all done. We've got the engine all set to go. We have, we have not yet run it. So, it's, so we've got oil pressure. We've got oil pressure. We've got water in the radiator. We've got a little bit of oil in the gearbox because so, you can't run the engine, uh, can't run the gearbox without any oil. And right now, Forrest is hunting for a wrench to tighten up a leaking fitting here on the, uh, on the fuel. So we're about all ready to try it here. I'm going to hand choke it. As our chokes are wired open r right now, let's just go ahead and go for it. I can't hold it off. <laughs> there you go. So just like a Weber carburetor on a modern MGB with the, all the controls and, and screws and so forth all hidden behind where you can't reach them, here we have an earlier example of that same folly and that is putting adjuster screws on the bottom. I mean, help me out. Why would you put adjuster screws on the bottom where you can't reach them? So um, adjusting them with a 
monster pair of channel locks. That's, <laughs> that's not really good either. But anyway, hey, but the thing runs. It runs. So, so uh, Mr. McGee from Valparaiso, Michigan City, someplace right down there. This is, uh, this is his engine, and I know he's keen on uh, getting it. So we're going to let the thing run in for uh, 20, 30 minutes at a higher RPM, make sure the cam is all set. And uh, the oil pressure was about 90. About mm -hmm. 90 pounds. Holy Toledo, it won't stay up there that long. But uh, we've got our gasoline, we've got our, got our, uh, our water here. So we're going to start the thing back up. And, and uh, after it's all done, then Mr. McGee can come up and get it and put it in his TC and go drive away. Car hasn't run since 1952. I think that's what he told me. So this thing was a real, uh, real mess when when we got it. And now these uh, carburetors, we rebuilt those here in the shop, um, having had no experience with these carburetors. But hey, they work. They're pretty simple carbs, almost as simple as SUs. But these have got accelerator pumps. SUs don't. SUs are the best carburetors ever made. That's what really belongs on these cars. Hey, we're going to be, uh, well, I was going to say I was going to be in Altoona, but my son's coming home from Afghanistan. He's due to uh, arrive on Wednesday, uh, no, on Friday morning, and uh, I'm going to be at, uh, in Altoona doing a two-day carburetor rebuild seminar, but I'm not going to be able to attend the British Car Show, so I'll be at Fort Bragg welcoming my son home instead. So... Send me a note or uh, give me a call. Maybe uh, we can come up and do a, do a video for something you like. Hey, until later, thanks a lot. Say, say goodbye to Forrest, too. It runs.